In this video, I'm going to be removing the ECU from my 2023 Yamaha XSR 900. Let's get it. And as you can see, I installed an SU Project CRT exhaust on the XSR 900. And I will do a video on that later. Uh, as far as right now, we will focus on the ECU. All right, so I, I haven't seen a lot of videos um, on this specific bike removing the ECU. I've seen uh, some videos on older models uh, prior to the 22 uh, change. Should be pretty simple. Remove the seat, remove these side covers, remove the tank cover, uh, remove the uh, tank itself, and then the ECU should be sitting right on top of the air box. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a time lapse here and I'll stop and give you any updates. I've, I've never done this before on, on this bike again, like I said. So I'll stop and give some updates uh, as we move along here to see if there's anything that, um, that I think might be valuable to uh, you guys. So let's get to it. So taking, uh, taking all this off was pretty simple for the most part. Of course, taking your seat off first. Uh, the side covers, um, there were two plastic Phillips uh, push pins that you'll remo uh, remove. You'll have these, the side quick release pins. You just un uh, unscrew them and they come right out. Uh, you have a center pin, push pin here, which I pushed it in, it came out, but the center piece fell all the way through, so now I'm gonna have to find that down there somewhere. Um, and then for the tank cover, um, you're gonna need a four millimeter hex, and there's four bolts on top, and then there's two push pins uh, towards the front. You just take those out, it comes right off. There's no grommets or anything, so you just kind of open it up a little bit, it comes right off. Uh, the gas tank is secured by four, um, four millimeter bolts. One here, one there, and then the two there. Hopefully I can get this, my plan is to get the gas tank lifted up, rotated, put over here. Um, I've seen other people do that on, on other bikes, so I'm hoping there's enough slack in the lines to where I don't have to disconnect anything um, so I can get to the ECU. So let's see how it goes. Put my blanket back so I don't scratch nothing up. And I just filled up my dang gas tank too, so I know this thing is gonna be heavier than... <laughs> easiest thing in the world and like I said I just filled it up too I should have left it empty but I didn't think about it all right I got it rotated um, feels like it's in a good spot all right, so the lines are a little tight. The, uh, oh, it's hard to see under there, but anyways, here's your ECU. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the clips and take the ECU out.
All right, guys, I finally got it out. It's a little bit tricky. You don't have much room to work. Um, so basically, these two plugs here, the tabs are underneath. So you have to go underneath, push the center tab, pull it out, push the center tab, pull it out. This one's a little tricky. You have to flip the lever out. Um, so what I did is I pushed on the center tab and then took my thumb and pushed the lever down. So let's see if I can get a good shot of this for you. So there's a lever here that I had my finger here and I pushed this center tab down. And at the same time I pulled on that tab and it, um, it came out. And then you just kind of um, wiggle the ECU um, out. Like I said, it's kind of tight, but uh, I only have two pair of hands and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to uh, get this in the mail tomorrow. I'm gonna send it off to VCycleNet. My next video will be uh, my first impressions of the tune with the new exhaust. So if you're not uh, subscribed, consider subscribing. If you liked the video, if you thought it was helpful, uh, please remember to hit that like button. And uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Until next time, peace.